VPC or virtual port channel. In this brief video, I'm going to talk about the VPC, what is the VPC and how VPC can help us. In the future videos, we will talk about the terminology of the VPC and also the configuration of the VPC. The first question is that what is the VPC? VPC is a virtualization technology that presents both Cisco Nexus 3's paired device as a unique uh, device. Let me to show you, look at here. In this scenario, we have two switch, switch one and also switch two, and uh, switch three connects to switch one and also switch two. We need to configure aggregation in both links of this uh, switch three, but we have a problem. Switch three uh, does not connect to one device, one switch, okay? It connects to the two switch, switch, switch one and also switch two. We need to configure ether channel or port channel in the ports of the switch 3 but switch 3 connect to two switches we need a technology such as the technologies we used on the vss virtual switching system okay what is the technology the technology that we can that can help us is the vpc vpc belongs to multi chassis ether channel or ma mec family of uh, technology with vpc okay this two switch present as a unique layer to logical node to access layer device or endpoint for example this device okay look at this picture here we have two switch and after configuring the vpc from the uh, for example logical topology we have only one switch and because of that we can configure a port channel between the between the uh, access switch and also the upstream switch a virtual port channel or VPC, this is the VPC, okay, allows links that are physically connected to two different Cisco Nexus series device to appear as a single port channel, okay? Single port channel to a third device. The third device, this is the third device, okay, can be a switch, can be a server or any other networking device that supports link aggregation technology. VPC provides the following technical benefits. Eliminates spanning three protocol blocked ports. Here, we don't have any block port after VPC. You know that if we don't use the VPC in layer two network, we should block one of these links because we have loop uses all available uplink bandwidth you know that because we can use all of these links in the port channel because of that we are using all available uplink bandwidth allows dual home server to operate in active active mode you know that for example when this a server connected uh, to two switch for example this switch this server normally with, without the vpc can use one of the switches as the active gateway and other switch as a, a standby gateway for, for example but here because we can use the vpc technology we can uh, use the benefits of active active the gateway in the uh, for example connecting one server to both switches and also uh, if uh, for example you connect one server to this switch because uh, look at this scenario here one server connect to this switch and after that here this is this gateway the uh, for example interface vlan uh, the gateway of vlan reside on this switch and now we are using both switches okay not only one switch and this means that we have active active gateway provide fast convergence upon link or device failure you know that both of these, these links are active and none of them in the block state because of them uh, for example when one of these links is failed other link uh, av is available in, uh, immediately and we don't need to uh, for example convergence time of stp after that offers dual active active default gateway for servers i mentioned this before and also by using vpc users get the immediate operation on an architectural uh, architectural advantage simplifies network desi design this design this network is so simpler that uh, for example this networks 
because we have only two switches connected with one link to each other. Build highly resilient and robust layer two not network. Enable seamless virtual machine mobility and server high availability clusters. Scales available layer two bandwidth, increasing bisectional bandwidth, and finally grows the size of the layer two networks. These are some of the benefits of the VPC. We will talk about the VPC, VPC and we will learn about many features of the VPC. Don't forget, in the VPC, we are using a concept uh, that we call it VPC domain, okay? VPC do uh, domain is composed of two VPC peer device or two peer device. We call this device v one VPC peer and this is the second VPC peer. One of these VPC peers is in the primary state. The, re the role of the VPC peer is primary and others roles the uh, standby. Each peer device processes half of the traffic coming from the access layer for example when we have we, when we send traffic to this switch come and uh, some of the traffics or half of the traffic should send to switch one and switch and some uh, and half of the the traffic should go to the should send to the switch two this is a uh, logical topology okay and also in case a peer device fails for example one of these devices failed okay the other peer device will absorb all the traffic with minimal convergence time impact and this is another benefits of the or for example vpc vpc uses all port channel member link available so that in case an individual link fail okay hashing algorithm will redirect all flows to other link this means that in vpc you are the benefits of the link redundancy and also device redundancy if a link fail fails and also if a device fail immediately you have you can use the other link or the other device okay each peer device in the vpc domain runs its own control plane switch one has its own control plane and switch two has its own control plane and both devices work independently don't mistake this uh, feature for example with a pitch feature like vss because in vss we have one control plane and but now we have two control plane and both of these device now is are working independently any potential control plane issue stay local to the peer device and does not propagate or impact the other peer device from a stand a spanning tree a standpoint vpc eliminate stp blocked ports and uses all available uplink bandwidth a spanning tree is used as a fail safe mechanism and does not dictate layer 2 pass for vpc attached device we will learn about the vpc and the terminology in the vpc uh, in the future videos and finally we will learn about the configuration the best practice and use cases of the vpc in the future videos but for now it's sufficient now we know what is the vpc how vpc can help us to using the network the layer 2 network better than before of the vpc